Okay. So straight into the match, it's going to be Bison versus Kami. So, okay. Now, I don't think this is a bad matchup. I think this is 5-5 five five for both characters. I wouldn't say it's completely hard for either, but when Bison shuts down all of Kami's options trying to get in, it's very hard to approach. And good punish there. Gets the knockdown off of Psycho Inferno there from Venom of Tuesday and gets the meaty Psycho Axe. I don't know why Benny Best did not respect that. If he was going for a DP, then unlucky. Must have been an execution blunder, but he got to respect that. Definitely got to respect that. Okay, goes with the meaty light kick and he's taking uh, Venom of Tuesday slowly to the corner. This is where Kami shines. Every time she has a combo to Spiral Arrow, you slowly get edge to the corner and the stun racks up quicker than you think. Look at that sweep of the devil. All right, good tech from Venom of Tuesday. He just needs to run away now. Gets the EX scissors. He's going for a meat sight first. No, he doesn't. Oh, no. I think he does that a little bit too late. But I think he's looking for the crush counter. So he gets a nice confirm and nice juicy damage because he'll build the bar in time if he gets it. Okay, scissors is activated. Okay. And that does the head press as well, but he does plus two on block. He is safe. All right, good confirm from Medivest. And he closes out the round. Good stuff. I, I, I like seeing this match. It's back and forth. Back and forth. But obviously, yeah, Kami's got a uh, hundred less vitality than Bison because Bison's got a thousand, whereas Kami's got 900. Bison's got a better damage output. But obviously, Kami is the more mobile and versatile character. I believe she has faster moves than Bison as well. It's when Bison is next to you, it's difficult because all his, or most of his normals are safe on block. You definitely got to be aware of the stand roundhouse plus three on block. His crouch and medium punch is pretty good. Psycho Axe is plus one on block. So it's when he's in your face and all those normals are coming out. They're just in your face and you've got to respect it. Unless you want a view reversal. I don't think Kami's view reversal is very good in this matchup either. But Benny Best emerges triumphant for that first game. And it is a best three out of five. So let's see how Venom of Tuesday will circumvent this and handle this. Now I'm looking at the Psycho Blast frame data here now. I know the Heavy Punch or the Heavy Version EX is safe, but if the Light and Mediums are done at safe ranges, they are safe as well, I believe. I don't think Kami can punish them unless she has Critical Arc, which is 4 frame start. Uh, again, someone correct me if I'm wrong. Okay, walks back. Gets a Stand Hard Punch and he reacts to the jump with a Cannon Spike. Gonna get some good damage here, Benny Best. And he tries to go for the B skill, but he puts himself in the corner. And then, Venom of Tuesday puts him in the corner. Everyone we'll just like putting themselves in the corner today. Wow, good whip punish. That's going to be big damage there for Venom of Tuesday. Dashes up, hits him with the knee, the infamous knee. Insane. Dash, dash up roundhouse works. It works online, it works offline. Slayer from Guilty Gear would be proud. He would be proud of this. A good confirmation this is there from Venom of Tuesday. But again, we find ourselves in the corner again. Wow, what a whiff punish there. What a counter poke with back strong from Benny Best. I think he's found his new button to mess around with. Okay, good block on the V skill. That is plus and block. You must remember that. Venom of Tuesday. Try to go for a V reversal there. Backs off as well. Sometimes V reversaling is good, but I feel in certain situations, Bisons tend to do it literally out of fear. And it's, they're just putting themselves up to get baited. And it's, uh, you can bait this guy's reversal pretty easily. Okay, Spiral Arrow's out. He's only got one more opportunity to spend the V-Gage or the V-Trigger. I think he should just save it. And then go for a dive kill like right now before it runs out. I think he's going to let it run out. Did it run out? Yeah, it's run out. Okay. Done a little bit late. We've got an EX dive kick anyway, but it didn't amount to anything. It's kind of irrelevant. But it's a crouching medium kick. And Venom of Tuesday is sitting on a full stick of butter, so... If a dive kick comes his way, if he can react with the air to air hell attack, we're going to be seeing ultimate psycho crusher. Good confirming to scissors again. The pressure's on, but that move is unsafe. He tried to anticipate a jump there. It didn't come out. Good throw. Again, the stun is racking up. Just look how quickly stun racks up and how Venom of Tuesday gets to the corner. That is part of Kami's game plan. Rack up the stun, get into the corner, then do your meaties and your throws there. Okay, good block on the meaty dive kick. He's coming in, going for that damage there. Good stuff from Benny Best. Okay, good V reversal, but he's out of there. And the Psycho X manages to hit. And 
that was some interesting skip. Not sure what happened there. I know we're a couple seconds uh, behind them, but that was some serious Matrix business. That was some slow down time. Was it, was it, was, was V-Trigger lasting for 10 seconds? Was it Bayonet which time? Was it Matrix? What was it? That, that lag was amazing. Round one. But they're going into the next game. So Benny Fight. Best is up 2-0 against Venom of Tuesday. And Venom of Tuesday decides to stick with Bison. He probably doesn't like the Fang matchup. But I, I think Cammy does kind of obliterate Fang. So. Okay. This is very, very slow. Okay. Whoa, okay. Good for reversal there. That's his up. Gets the meaty side correct now. Bison can do that. He's going to get big damage right now. And I just like seeing this in slow motion for some reason. <laughs> it works. All right, the damage is coming through. Benny Best is going to close out the round. And that's it. I don't know. When you when you see Bison do Psycho Axe in slow motion, it actually is pretty cool. He looks like he's doing just aerobics in the gym with the left hook and the right hook. You know what it is. Bison's going to come up with a new uh, dancing gang scene. He should have been going carnival today, actually. Because if you're in the UK, there is the Notting Hill Carnival on today. Livening up the streets. All right, gets the hell attack and then confirms into Psycho Blast. And that is a very unsafe Psycho Inferno, but Benny Best is out of range. He couldn't punish that. I don't think Crouch could have got it, but good confirmation. And he's saving the V-Trigger for the next opportunity, which he gets it now. Optimized stuff from Kami. Safe jump? No. Okay. Oh, no, that's it. That's it. That's a wrap. Yeah, that's a wrap. Psycho Inferno. Then it's uh, forward back into EX Scissors. So, yeah, now in Bison's V-Trigger... You don't have to charge scissors. When you're in V-Trigger, you literally just do back, forward, and the move comes out. Same with the Kali as well, with his uh, disc guidance. No charging. It's an instant back forward. Shout out to V-Trigger. Good with punish. What an answer. And he's got super stocks as well. Is he going to spend it? Yes, he is. I don't think Bison's dead, but it's going to do large amounts of damage. And Benny Betts gets to meet himself as well. What's he going to do? Empty jump. Crouching short. Stand jab, cannon spike. Perfect KO. Battle of the Diamond Ranks. Give me your 70 points, please. No I'm kidding. Shouts to Battle Lounges. But good stuff there. Benny Best. Literally making it a 3-0. That was that was such a train wreck. Now I thought that matchup was 5-5, but Benny Best made it look like 10-zip.